When colleges stopped in-person classes, students had to switch to online learning. But that cut out much of the campus life that people enjoyed and had to pay for in advance. KPI X5's John Ramos with that story. Students in California are not getting what they bargained for when they plunked down thousands of dollars to go to college. But in some areas, they're not getting anything for what they paid, and some people are beginning to demand their money back. The campus of Cal State East Bay looks like a postcard, mainly because nothing is moving. Yeah, it's a ghost town up here for sure. Angelina Knights and Cece Hurtado are some of the few still living on campus, but it's not much of a life. The Recreation and Health Center is closed, and the dining hall mostly offers prepackaged sandwiches. But students paid a lot of money for those things. We need some stuff up here. I get that we're going through a crisis, but you know, there's other things that we can work around. Unless if they can't work around it, then money should be held back, you know? Yeah. I mean, given back, so. That's the aim of federal class action lawsuits filed Monday against the UC and CSU systems. In addition to normal tuition and housing, CSU charges students anywhere from $847 to more than $4,000 per year, depending on the school. Lawyers filing the lawsuits say schools should not keep the money if they are no longer offering the benefits. There are a lot of parents uh, who have lost their jobs during this time. And having that extra money back would be of great benefit, uh, especially in this time of crisis and hardship. But CSU says they are offering refunds for things that are not being provided now, such as housing and parking. But they say the lawsuit misstates the facts. In a statement, they said, quote, campuses continue to operate and many personal services are now provided remotely, such as counseling, advising, faculty office hours, disability student services, and even telehealth medical care. But students say that's not the college experience they signed up for. I acknowledge that they're like doing everything like uh, virtually like they can, but I do believe that we paid for a lot more than what we're getting right now. And there should be some type of compensation for that. At Cal State East Bay, John Ramos, KPIX 5.